You're not born with a weak or strong will. Willpower is won or lost by observing how you actually perform. If you have an addictive disorder, you lost your willpower by vowing to quit using and then failing to honor that vow. You can look at your current store of willpower as the result of previous wagers. And once you understand how you lost your willpower, you'll understand how you can win it back. The pig says, you're all talk. And when push comes to shove, you'll fold. You can make any commitment you choose, and the pig bets you won't honor it. What is at stake is your reputation with yourself. If you honor your word, you win the wager. And what you win is the belief that you will do what you say you will do. If you fail to honor your word, the pig wins. That is, you lose the power of your will, and your actions become dependent on external sources of control. As you can see, this is a dangerous strategy. If you lose, it would have been better if you did not take the bet. So if you decide to use this approach, be aware of what you're getting into. If you commit to something, you have to do exactly what you said you would do. No exceptions, no matter how reasonable it may seem at the moment. It is best to make short, time-limited commitments, like 15 minutes or an hour. The penalties for failure are so enormous that it is simply too dangerous to make long-term commitments.